Okay, we're, um, we've got these things installed now, so we're just going to ask Matt um, how he best uses them in his studio. Well, I use them a lot. <laughs> I use them pretty much on as much as I can because I love them so much. So usually what I do recording here is obviously we start with the basic tracks so we get a good, really great drum sound first. And uh, when I had the 11023, I used the 1023 on the, on the snare drum. And uh, the thing that we talked about, Mark, was the new with the new uh, roll-off filter. I'll have more um, more applications for the snare. Sometimes I get some honks and some things that you can't get rid of. In yeah, the snare. you got more control over the over yeah. the high end. Yeah, that it can take some little stuff out of the high end of the frequency, or even bump it a little bit more, or whatever. Right. right? So um, that's beautiful. And then usually what I would do after I record the drums is I go to the guitars. And as you see, I have all my amps here, and we work right here in the room in this area. And like I said, I've had a lot of guitar players in here from Slash to Steve Stevens, Dave Navarro, Billy Gibbons. And they all have a little bit different of a vibe that they like, different tones that so we have, you know, every possibility between these applications here. And now that we have the, uh, the, the 1028, you know, we got even more, more frequencies to mess around with, which is, which is awesome.